sir. You a gangster duck. I'm not sharing with you. I'm so sorry. If you won't share with the duck, will you share with me? Hi, my name is Adriana. I'm a fashion enthusiast and overall nerdy girl and a theme park expert. We're at Mardi Gras at Universal Orlando Resort. We're going to try everything. It's going to be an epic adventure. This is Iconic Eats. Yes! <laughs> First stop of the day, Chusum's Chocolate Emporium. This is the Mardi Gras Rhythm and Shape. First off, it matches with my dress. And anything that matches with my dress, I think I definitely want to eat. <laughs> it's ube, which is really trendy right now. If you don't know what ube is, it is a purple sweet potato, which is probably what's giving it its purple color. We have the purple, green, and gold classic Mardi Gras colors. It's a gold sparkle saxophone. I can't wait to try it. The flavor is really sweet and you wouldn't think that sweet potato goes in a shake, but it totally fits with the vanilla. I really wanna try this saxophone cookie. This movie has so many sparkles on it and I feel like I'll sparkle from the inside. <laughs> oh, that's good. It's a sugar cookie and it's just covered in gold dust, which makes it awesome. <laughs> Good start to the day. Now let's go inside the park. This is the muffaletta. It is a classic Mardi Gras dish. Tons of meat, tons of cheeses, but what's signature about a muffaletta is the olive relish. I've never had one before, but I'm really excited to try it. Mm. It's not a huge sandwich, which muffaletta has a lot of things in it. I like the fact that it's small, so you get all of the flavors, but like more compact. So if you're looking for something quick and savory, this is a good option because it won't fill you up. I gotta share. Yay! <laughs> oh. Oh, good. So this has Cajun seasoning on it. I sniffed it way too hard. I got a little Cajun seasoning in my nose. But let's try it. It's perfect New Orleans flavor. This is the blackened chicken po' boy. Specifically, oh, dang it, sorry. Chicken thigh, Cajun mayo, lettuce, tomato, and pickle. It's not spicy. It's just zesty. Not necessarily spicy, like spicy with black pepper like a lot of black pepper. If it's between the muffaletta or the chicken po' boy, I would definitely go with the chicken po' boy. Just because um, I like the chicken thigh, it's juicier and the blackened flavor that they have on it is really good. I also really like pickles, so <laughs> extra points for having pickles on it. Now I need something to quench my thirst. Let's do this. This is a new twist on taters. You remember that ube sweet potato we had earlier in the shake? So this is another twist on sweet potatoes. This is a classic bourbon sour with sweet potato syrup. It's gonna quench our thirst because it's very hot outside. <laughs> Ooh, okay, I like that. I really like bourbon, but what I like about this drink is it's not overly overpowering. The bourbon flavor is there, but the sweet potato really cuts it. It has a nice earthy flavor. It's also sweet. This is the dream. <laughs> this is the case of twi <laughs> twisted taters are a staple here at Universal. Every event, you're gonna get a different type of twisted tater. And so this one is Mardi Gras themed. I like that you're just like holding it like a wand. Wingardium Leviosa. What am I levitating? I don't know, more potatoes. <laughs> see it from the front, but wait till you see it from the back. So that's all of the Cajun seasoning on it. Oh my gosh. It's zesty, spicy, classic Cajun. Very similar to the chips, but softer. This is just like, fun theme park food. It's portable, you can pull it off, it's really interactive. This one's good, 
Wait till you see the other one. How do you make a twisted tater better? Put a hot dog in the middle of it. Same flavors as before, but you have a hot dog in the middle, so let's try it. Ooh, perfect bite. Mmm. You have the meaty flavor. What goes better with meat than potatoes? And then the Cajun seasoning on it. Classic theme park food. Out of the two, honestly, if you're gonna do it, do it for real. You gotta have the hot dog in the middle. My shirt is eating as well. Sorry. <laughs> Just finishing off my bourbon. Are you feeling it? This is a good drink. I am feeling it. <laughs> Verde, coconut, pineapple, rum, green chartreuse, mint, and lime. Apparently it's very fancy. I'm supposed to put my pinky up when I drink it. Green chartreuse is made by monks in France somewhere. I've never heard of green chartreuse, but this is gonna be a very um, enlightening experience. Oh. Mm. It's the classic pina colada flavor, the pineapple and the coconut, but then you get like an extra zip and zest from the lime. The mint, you can smell it while you drink, which makes it even more refreshing. And I think that it tastes so refreshing because of the green chartreuse. Like I said, I've never had it before, but it makes the drink taste really good. <laughs> the bourbon has gone to your head. No, yeah, definitely the bourbon has gone to my And now the rum. I'm gonna, I might finish this one. You wanna try some? <laughs> Cause you literally drink that all day. All day. Yeah. All day. It's so good. That's dangerous. <laughs> it's very dangerous. Can we order another one? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is a king cake. So it's a traditional Mardi Gras cake. Each person gets a slice. They hide the baby in one of the slices. Whoever gets the slice with the baby in it is the king. Obviously, I am the Mardi Gras queen, so I'm gonna get this slice with the baby on it. <laughs> I don't know why I wanna make the baby cry. It's a monstrosity of a cake. But like, do you want your theme park food to be anything less? No. Is it just a giant cinnamon roll? I wish I had a pocket, he's really cute. I wanna put the baby in my pocket. But I can't eat him, so I'm gonna sit him here. It's essentially a giant cinnamon roll with icing and colored sugar on top. And I mean, you can't go wrong <laughs> with a giant cinnamon roll. But you can't eat this by yourself. No, you need one, two, three, four, five, six. I can eat it by myself. It's mine. It's mine. <laughs> no, wait, I want both. I'm greedy. <laughs> Mardi Gras marshmallow pie. It is fresh made graham crackers, marshmallows, covered in chocolate, covered in Mardi Gras sprinkles, and gold dust. So we can sparkle from the inside. <laughs> so it's house made marshmallows. So, so light and fluffy. But the graham cracker is house made as well. So it's not like crumbly like a graham cracker. It's like soft and it's covered in dark chocolates. It's very messy but very good. Totally worth the mess. We've had a lot of sweets, but we can't leave this area without getting the classic beignets. So let's do that next. <laughs> we need to eat beignets, but there was a, a band and I need to like work off some of this sugar. So, you know, a little dance break in between. soft, warm, sweet from the powdered sugar. We're not in New Orleans, but we're close. Out of everything, you can't do a Mardi Gras Universal without beignets. I've never been to San Francisco.
Francisco before. We're gonna go to that area and see what Mardi Gras inspired foods they have. This is the Cape Guayaba. It's basically guava, lime, vodka, and mint. I like the color. I feel like this color suits me. So well, with my skin. <laughs> Oh, okay, so guava is always really refreshing, but guava kind of has like this creamy flavor to it. It's like a hearty fruit, if that makes any sense, but you, it tastes really substantial, but it's just like fresh, creamy, almost from the guava, zesty from the lime. I am feeling zesty. Anytime I do my little dancey dance, you can tell I like it. I have pom-poms on my dress, so like I can, it accentuates the dancey dance. Fritter. It's a shellfish. It's wrapped in a cornbread breading. It has green peppers, onions, and carrots. Comes with the pineapple remoulade, which is creamy. The outside's really crunchy. If you're here for Mardi Gras, I would recommend trying it. It's a definitely a different flavor, but if you like mussels or oysters, you'll like it. Yes, thank you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Mardi Gras is still going strong. We have moved on from the San Francisco area and now we are by Animal Actors. And this is the samosas. It's completely vegan. It's sitting on top of a green chutney which has cilantro in it. Let's bite it. There's potatoes, there's peas, there's carrots. Nice curry flavor. The chutney underneath, cooling, that zip from the cilantro, but it's super flaky. Oh my gosh, sir. You a gangster duck. I, I'm not sharing with you, I'm so sorry. Please don't attack me. I'm very much afraid. If you won't share with the duck, will you share with me? Can you eat spicy? Yeah. I just got a bite that was really spicy and I don't know. I didn't get a spicy bite before. I'm, I gotta dip it in the sauce for you. Oh, that's spicy. It mm -hmm. is spicy. It's the sauce. Mm -hmm. I like it. I think I just got sauce on my camera. <laughs> <laughs> we we need a wet nap. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we have the Emerald Mojito. It's a standard mojito, but what makes it different is that it has green tea in it. I'm excited that this is going to cool down my palate after that spicy cilantro jalapeno sauce. Oh, it's very light. Green tea doesn't like have a really strong flavor, which in a mojito, it just makes sense. I've had my drink. Now it's time for something salty. <laughs> He's back. Coming for you. This gangsta ah, duck. He's so, please don't give me pancakes on ah, camera. <laughs> it's literally only been 100 feet from where we started till now, and this is, much, this is how much drink I have left. It's so good, though. Hello! <laughs> this is the Salty Papa's Pizza Fries, which is a combination of the HHN Classic Pizza Fries but with a spin on it. Salty Papa's is a Peruvian street food. It's like their version of nachos. It's fries loaded with chorizo, spicy ketchup, and mozzarella cheese. Mm. So I don't think you can go wrong anytime you put a bunch of stuff on top of french fries. The chorizo is kind of smoky, and then we have these pickled onions on top, which give it a nice little zip. So it kind of cuts through the richness of the fries and the cheese. It's a good combination. How does this hold up to the traditional pizza fries? It's good, I like it. It's a good variation on it. And you can't always have the same thing, so I like that they put a different spin on a classic. We just 
walked over to another kiosk and we are trying the shrimp laksa. This is definitely more of a meal. There's a lot of hearty things in this. You have your egg, you have your tofu, you have your shrimp, you have bean curds, you have your noodles. I would not say this is one of my favorites from Mardi Gras so far, but it does get a lot of points in my book because it has shrimp in it, and shrimp is my favorite. By the way, they gave us these things called a chork. It's a fork and chopsticks at the same time. How neat is that? Next stop, Hollywood. If you ask me what is the most classic Mardi Gras New Orleans dish, other than beignets, it would definitely be a crawfish royal. So it's crawfish, potatoes, corn, and andouille sausage. And yes, the crawfish still have the heads on. It is traditional to keep the heads on. Some people break it off and suck the brains out of the head. I will not be doing that. Um, but it is, it's a thing. So you break it off like this. You kind of pull it out and like this is the part that people like suck on. You can see down in there, like the little brains and whatnot. Ooh, people like that though. And then you shimmy the meat out and then you just pop it in your mouth. It's good if I do my little dancey dance. <laughs> I haven't had crawfish in a really long time. This is a legitimate crawfish boil. Okay, so if you never had crawfish, if you wanna know if it's similar to shrimp, Yes and no. Shrimp has a cleaner flavor, where crawfish is a little bit more swampy, literally swampy. So you can kind of taste the more earthy flavors of the water that it's been sitting in. It's a little bit different of a flavor, but it's really good. Let me try one of these andouille sausages. It's a thick boy. Mm. Oh, it's spicy. I didn't expect for it to be that spicy. I'll cool my mouth off with a little potato. Mmm. It's really hot. Can that sausage go? is very hot. Oh! Thank you. I love you so much. Cool my mouth off after that hot and dewy sausage. My mouth is on fire. And now I am cooled off. This is the Category 5 Punch. It is two types of dark rum passion fruit, lime, it's so good. One thing about it, it literally tastes like every drink at Horror Nights. Like no matter what they say is in it, the drink tastes like this. And it's so good, and it, it brings me right back to, to good nights at Horror Nights. You must be feeling good. I am feeling good. This is a good day. How can you go wrong with eating and drinking at a theme park all day long? It's a pretty good life. <laughs> the last thing we're eating today. We're ending on a high note, but it's not Mardi Gras if you don't see the parade. Holy crap. <laughs> we originally did not have the Bloody Mary on our list today, but once we saw what all comes on top of it, it definitely <laughs> needed to be added to the list. There is an entire chicken wing on this Bloody Mary. There's hush puppies, celery, string beans, shrimp, peppers it's a meal and a drink at the same time a meat straw you're gonna drink your bloody mary through a meat straw this is an experience i don't like bloody marys but i like this it's so good okay so it's not just that weird like bitter tomato flavor it's sweet it's salty, it has garlic in it. I feel like I wanna dip my chicken wing in it and then just eat the chicken Do wing. It. Do it. I will, I'll dip my, my hush puppy in it. I just taught Chelsea the um, history of a hush puppy. I'm not gonna tell you, you should Google it though. Oh my God. A drink that's a meal. I love this place. Did this drink just make me a Bloody Mary girl? Am I questioning my life right now? Yes, yes I am. So we're ending the night with the parade. What? Get that Manny to get out my video. Happy Mardi Gras! Oh my God, thank you! I need to get on.
on these floats. They look so fun. No, seriously, I need to get on this float. Hold on. Okay, we made it on the float and I'm ready to throw my beans. Woo! It's literally a party in the street and we got to do it. I'm excited. Park for another adventure. Bye! Oh, yeah.